Hello everyone, good afternoon everyone. Hello, 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 hello. God bless you all. Hallelujah. God bless everyone today. God bless you. God bless you. May the good Lord shine his face upon you all. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah to Jesus. Glory, glory, adoration be to the Almighty God in heaven. Amen. Amen. Greetings from the service today to you all that will be listening to the message today in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So today is the end of the month of February 28th, February 2021. I say you are ending well in the name of Jesus. Everyone that will be listening to this message today, I decree and I declare that you will end well in the name of Jesus. The Spirit of God Almighty that has begun a new and a good thing in your life must surely complete it for you in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God Almighty. Glory be to God. And I declare and I decree upon your lives, everyone, that will be hearing this message today, that whatever God Almighty has not planted in your life, that has been standing on your way not to get into your breakthrough, or not to break through, or not to draw closer to God, at the month end today, as the month end today, 28th February, 2021 all those troubles they are ending in the name of jesus christ of nazareth everything that will stand on your way not to serve god successfully not to know god and get closer to him successfully today as today mark the end of the month all those troubles all those things they are coming to an end in the name of jesus christ of nazareth you are beginning well in the name of jesus christ tomorrow first of march you march into your breakthrough. This march we are about to enter tomorrow. You are going to march into your success. You are going to march into unending miracles in the name of Jesus and above it all. Salvation is going to come to you. You're going to receive Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. This month we are about to enter tomorrow, first of March, in Jesus' mighty name. So today, you see, I'm telling you that. This month of March that we are about to enter tomorrow, which is on the first tomorrow, you know, that you are marching into your breakthrough. There's something need to be done. Praise the Lord. You know, and today also, as I'm declaring to your lives that every trouble in your life, whatever God has not planted, every evil seed or tree that has been growing in your life, you know, as to them mark the end of February, everything is ending today in the name of Jesus. They are ending with February, you know, in Jesus' mighty name. But there is a condition for this. Hallelujah. So that will take me to the topic of unforgiveness is a sin, a very big sin. But many, many people don't really realize it. Many people don't know it, you know. But as you begin to pray, as you begin to pray, as you begin to get to the realm, the Almighty God will begin to ex uh, uh, explain it and uh, expand it to you in a very glorious way. You might know it, but not in detail. Amen. Glory be to God. I say glory be to God, you know, for you to begin and march into your endless miracles for you to march into your deliverance for you to march into your breakthrough tomorrow first of march as you wake up tomorrow morning you march into your great miracles in the name of jesus christ for that to happen please i will urge everyone that will be listening to me today to leave uh to leave anything that is hurting you in your heart please put it in the bin because in fact that is what our papa preached today in the church you know what offenses can cause what offenses can cause in the life of a christian what offenses can really bring in the life of a christian praise god forever our papa told us today that when you keep offense in your heart you are not doing that person wrong. You are doing yourself wrong. And that is true. Because God revealed this to me yesterday. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's so true. You know, sometimes we feel that we are too hard. Sometimes we feel that, you know, we, we, it's difficult for us to forgive and to let go of the things that happen. That's the will of Satan from the pit of hell. I'm telling you the truth. 
That's the will of Satan from the pit of hell. God wants us to forgive, you know. I now begin to understand the reason why God said in his word, you know, that 70 times 7, as your, 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 as people begin to offend you, keep forgiving, keep forgiving, 70 times 7. I now begin to understand it, you know. So that takes me to the topic of unforgiveness is a sin, unforgiveness. When you do not forgive people, is the greatest sin that you can ever keep in your own life, you know. You might be saying you are not smoking, you're not drinking, you know, you, you are studying the word of God, you know, you are doing all kinds of things, you are pleasing God and all this stuff, you know, it would be amazing to you to hear this right now, you know, that you can't be doing all that. If you keep someone in your heart, if you are living in unforgiveness, God is not going to hear you, you know. So I believe that it is by his mercy that he has been hearing us. It is by his grace that he has been hearing us. But the Bible says, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound, you know, God forbid. So if you are listening to me today and you 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 are living in unforgiveness, in fact, it was a message in the morning service in the church. It was a main message today in the, in the morning in the church that our papa preached about the same unforgiveness. So I'm taking it now to the YouTube. Hallelujah. Because what our papa preached today, our pastor preached today, Pastor Eddie Sage, what he preached today, you know, about unforgiveness is in the church. But now I want to bring it to your home. I'm bringing it to your home. Praise the Lord forever. This is the message of this time. You know, unforgiveness has kept a lot of people in bondage. Unforgiveness has kept a lot of people not to receive, but, you know, they don't know. They don't know. So that is why I'm coming here to tell you, to come and let you know that if you live in unforgiveness, God Almighty will not hear you when you pray. You know, especially when he reveals it to you. We have been on a three days fast, the whole church, which we, we are ending today. Praise God forever. It was glorious today in the church's presence. The presence of God was heavy today, mighty upon us today in the church. You know, just because our Papa preached on the message on forgiveness. The problem it can bring to your own life that is keeping someone, not to somebody you are keeping in your heart, but you that is keeping someone. Our Papa told us the disadvantages today, you know, and it was awesome. After the message, the glory of God came upon us. And our Papa asked everyone in the church today to confess anybody that you have in mind. Confess the person and forgive the person genuinely and start to pray for the person. And everyone, the whole church, enter into action. You know, enter into action. Begin to call names that you can remember. And names that you cannot remember, the Holy Spirit knows, but in your heart, you know. Praise God forever. And begin to pray for them. Begin to pray for them. After that, the glory of God came down. The glory of God was heavy today on us in the service. So it's the same thing. You know, I want you to experience the glory of God right in your home, right in your office, right in your bedroom, right in your kitchen, where you'll be listening to this message from. Praise God. That's why I'm telling you what happened today in the church. After this same message that our Papa preached, you know, that offense can bring you into, into prison. You will put yourself in prison, self-imprisonment. Our Papa said today that offense when you keep someone in your heart, you refuse to forgive someone, you are putting yourself in the prison. Nobody puts you in that prison, but you yourself knock in the prison and say, prison door open for me, I want to enter. May that not be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. You know? And our papa told us today that whether you know it or you don't know it, the implication of offense, the implication of offense must take its course, even if you don't even know, you know? Even if you don't even know the consequences, but it's, it's there, you know? So I'm here to agree with our Papa today to bring the message right to your home. So that when you listen to this message, please, I urge you in the name of the Lord, everyone else. This message hits everybody who will listen to it. You know, if you have anyone in your heart, please delete them. Delete them, you know, delete them. And how do you delete them? You begin to pray for the person. You cannot pray for someone you hate. So when you begin to pray for the person, that means that, they, 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 you know, you, you have deleted the person, you know. It is time that people of God begin to delete, begin to uh, uh, remove offense, refuse to be offended. Refuse to be offended because if you keep offense in your heart, if you are offending, if you are offended or you refuse to forgive somebody, you know, it's not the person you are punishing, you are punishing yourself. You are putting yourself in a cage. You are putting yourself in prison. That is what our Papa today calls self-imprisonment. When you refuse to forgive, 
when you refuse to forgive, you are keeping offenses in your heart. You know, you'll be thinking what God is doing in your life now. That is where God, no, 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 He wants to take you far. Praise God forever. Praise God forever. Yesterday, the Lord told me, He said, when you refuse to forgive, if you are keeping offenses in your heart, then I cannot be his friend. Can you imagine that? So the message I'm bringing to everyone today, you know, if you keep offense in your heart, someone offended you or you've refused to forgive someone, you know, if you pray, God is not going to hear you. He's not going to hear you. He's not going to hear you. After listening to this message, he used to hear you because he knows that you are walking in ignorance. And this ignorance we are talking, anyone, anyone can walk in ignorance. You know, pastors can walk in ignorance. A, a, a prophet can walk in ignorance. A, a church members can walk in ignorance. Ignorance is something that, you know, is general to everyone that if you are innocent of what, if you don't understand what you are doing, that's ignorance. Hallelujah. Until when the Lord revealed, he revealed to redeem. Praise God forever. So as he revealed to me, I'm now bringing it to you right in your home to know. So that if paraventure, many of you that is listening to me right now, you know, you, or that will listen to the message later, you know, you'll be praying for things. You'll be asking God for a particular door to be opened. You've done all kinds of things. You've prayed all kinds of prayers. You know, you've sowed all kinds of seeds. You know, you've done all kinds of things, but that door is not opening. That door is not opening. Please, my people, my brothers, my sisters, all my children all over the world, spiritual uh, uh, children in the Lord, you know, I urge you, when you are facing such situations that some things are not working well for you, you know, please check your life very well. Is there people or is there someone you are keeping in your heart that you just have one in your heart, you keep in your heart and say, this person, what he did to me, I will not let it go. What that person did to me, I will not let it go. So if that is, you know, if that is there, you know, please get rid of it so that your doors can be open. Because when you refuse to get rid of it, you won't break through. That major break. You see, all that breaking through can be coming. All that things you can be breaking through in other areas. But you see that major one that you want, you may not get it. And that will make you to be angry with God. Hallelujah. Yeah, the, the, the Almighty God said, anyone that asks will receive. Anyone that knocks, the door will be open. Anyone that seeking will find him. So you have been knocking, you have been seeking, you have been asking, you are not receiving the way you, you, you ought to. So please check your life. Check your life very well. It's very, very important important because these days unforgiveness has kept a lot of people in bondage unforgiveness have kept a lot of people you know in a in a in a in a, in a state that you know it's not really pleasant amen number one it will disturb you from praying number two you know you are no more a friend of god if you are living in unforgiveness you are no more a friend of god you know praise god forever what our power was telling us today what our pastor pastor eddie my husband was telling us today in the church in the service in the morning service you know he said if you keep someone in your heart and you refuse to forgive somebody it's like someone that take acid and drink it and you expect someone else to die no he's the one that drink acid that will die not the person you because of someone you go and take acid and you drink it and you expect that person to die no the death doesn't come to the person that you are angry or that make you to drink that acid the death is going to come to you that take that acid so that is how unforgiveness is when you refuse to forgive it's not the person that offends you that will suffer the punishment or the consequences it's you that is keeping it because it's going to stop you from a lot of things number one it's going to make god to back himself against you when you begin to knock no door will be open when you are looking for god you will find him when you are seeking him you will find him praise god forever and that can make someone to be really miserable praise god so god almighty is whom he says he is. God is God. God is God. Is God Almighty? You know, He said, "When you knock, I will open. When you, when you, when you call upon me in the day of trouble, I will answer you." So, if you are calling on God and it's not answering you, please check your spiritual life. Check your spiritual life. Check it very well. Praise God Almighty. In this our three days fast that we did Friday, Saturday, and we are we're breaking it today. Friday, the whole church. Praise God forever. You know, it was really awesome. A lot of revelations were given, and the, uh, at the service we had online on Friday, we saw how the Spirit of God began to locate this, the situation of people uh, from all over the, the places that connected to the online service with us. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. So, please, unforgiveness is a sin, a very big sin, which many of us we are just taking for granted. You know, if only you will open your heart and let the, 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 the word of God, you know, be heavy in your heart. 
please i urge you in the name of the lord god almighty you know who created you and gave you the breath that you have now you know if you have anyone in your heart it doesn't matter what that person have done to you delete it delete it and forgive the person and begin to pray for the goodness of the person begin to pray for the betterment of the person and begin to pray above it all for salvation for salvation to hit the person to locate the person hallelujah to jesus christ when you do this you know your life will be open up you know to an endless 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 miracles and breakthroughs you know and your life will not be cut short god almighty will build a shield of protection around you because you will not become his friend then when you keep on forgiveness when you keep when you are living in unforgiveness you are keeping offenses in your heart your mother offend you your brother offend you your sisters offend you your friends offend you your business colleague offend you your classmate offend you you know people in the street offend you or whosoever you know and you begin to keep it in your heart you know god will not answer you the way he should. You cannot be a fool. In fact, the question is that if God is not answering you, then what are you doing on earth? If you pray and God did not answer you, what are you doing on earth? Or if God back himself against you, what is your life? You have no life anymore. So that is the reason why, you know, you have to let go. You have to let go. Let go of first, put it in the bin so that you'll be a friend of God. If you be a friend of God, you know, you are the one that I'm telling you the best person on earth. Praise God. Let's go very quickly uh, to the to the book of um, to the book of Mark 11. Mark 11. I'm just going to take this very quickly. Hallelujah. I'm not really here today to preach because I need to go home now so that we go and start. You know, some Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Um, Matthew 11, 23. Matthew 11, 23 to 26. Just listen to what the word of God says. He said, For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. Verse 24. Therefore I say unto you, What, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Verse 25. And when you stand praying, forgive. Verse 25. Mark 11, 25. And when you stand praying, forgive. If you have ought against anyone, that your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive your trespasses. You see, this is, this is very deep which many of us we are playing with we play with it until the spirit of god will reveal it to you you will not understand so that's why i pray that the holy spirit as you hear this message the same holy spirit that revealed it deeply to me let him reveal it deeply to you the same holy spirit that revealed it deeply to our father in the lord our pastor you know my husband pastor eddie that same holy spirit will reveal it to you so that you understand when the holy spirit reveal it to you your life will never be the same again you cannot struggle with the holy spirit you can't hallelujah to jesus christ. i pray that as you hear this today the spirit of god will put it in your heart you know to let go of every offenses praise god praise god the bible says if one eye will lead you to hell block it off so if offense will make god not to hear you if offense will make god not to answer your prayers Please do without offense. Do away with it. You know, forgive everyone. Refuse to be offended. You know, forgive everybody and, and let it go and begin to pray for them and love them from your heart because God is searching your heart. I forgive, I forgive. It's very easy to say with mouth, but if it's from your heart, what happened today in our service will happen in your life. The glory of God was all over us today. The anointing of God was all over. Uh, our members will be listening to this message now so they know what I'm talking about. After our papa preached on what offense can lead you into. Our papa said to us today that offense can put you in captivity. You, your very self, you will be in captivity, self imposed captivity. Offense can put you in prison, self imposed prison. You know, offense will make you, you know, not to arrive your destiny on time. You are not punishing somebody that offends you. You are punishing yourself that is keeping the offense because you have right to forgive, you have right to let go. Hallelujah. I pray that that same Holy Spirit will reveal it to you deeply today in the name of Jesus. Look at what Mark, Mark chapter 11 verse 25. He said, and when you stand praying, when you stand praying, forgive. If you have ought against any, that your Father which is in heaven will also forgive you your sin. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. Do you hear it? 
So it means that as a Christian, if you are keeping unforgiveness in your heart, someone offended you, you refuse to let it go, you refuse to forgive the person. Remember, you are serving God. God said, he also will not forgive you your sins. You see the reason why? God said, if you live in unforgiveness, you are not his friend. You can't be his friend. You can't be his friend. Because if God did not forgive you, he, can, you cannot be, he, he cannot be your friend. And you cannot be his friend. Look at what he said in verse 26. From verse 25. He said, if you stand praying, if you stand praying, you know, forgive anybody that offends you. As you are praying, please forgive before you start to pray. Forgive before you start to pray. Because many people today, their problem is, I've been praying for so so thing for a long time. I've been asking God for a particular open door. I've been knocking and then I'm not seeing any result. I'm not seeing any God is not answering me and all this stuff. You know, this is the reason. He said when you start praying, not that words, before you start to pray. And you know that, you know, you are living in unforgiveness. Somebody offended you and you keep it in your heart. God said, first of all, go and forgive the person. Forgive the person before you can come and pray. Because if you pray in that, in that state, he's not going to answer you. As you are praying, in that state, as you are praying to him, he also will be remembering all the things you have done. He also will be remembering the way you have offended him. So, as he is remembering the way you have offended him, he also will not forgive you. Just the same way, you are praying and you are keeping somebody in your heart. So, because what goes around comes around. The Bible says, whatever we sow is what we reap. So, when we begin to sow unforgiveness, God also will also have unforgiveness to us. So, that is why he said, you know, when you live in unforgiveness, you are not a friend of God. You know, you are not a friend of God. You know, verse 20, 25, 26. He said, when you, when you start praying, when you need God to pray, before you start to pray, and you know that, you know, you have unforgiveness against somebody, please forgive the person. After forgiving, they come and pray. When you pray, when you pray, God will answer you immediately. He will answer you immediately. You will feel that joy. You will feel the happiness. You will know it. You will know it. You will feel it. Glory be to God. You will feel it. You will feel it. You yourself will know that, you know, something has happened in your in your in your in your in your spiritual life praise god forever what happened today in the service in the morning service the glory of god we all experience today after everyone has confessed everyone that offended them and begin to pray for them begin to pray for those that have offended us begin to pray for those that you know everyone in the church immediately after that his glory came down it was awesome today if you are in the church today and you receive this message please confirm it Hallelujah. It was glorious. It was glorious. There is power in forgiving. You know, look at what Jesus said. He said, forgive others so that he too will forgive you. He said, when you don't forgive others, he too will not forgive you. If you don't forgive others, God Almighty will not forgive you. Jesus will not forgive you. And yet you are praying. If you are not forgiving, you are praying. You see that your prayers are not answered. Many prayers are not answered today because of unforgiveness. Many people's prayers are not answered today because of offenses. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the Holy Spirit will reveal this deep in your heart. In your heart. So as you receive it in your heart, in your system. Ah! If because of this, I have not been, you know, ah, that is why my delay, that is why my breakthrough deliver, you know, let me begin to call this, call them, call this, you know, call their names, you know, the ones you can, you can, you can get to, the ones you cannot also get to, call their names and begin to pray for them in your prayer, because it's not everybody that offends you that you can still get to, you know, you know, that you can still get, many of them are far away, many of them you don't even have their contact anymore, many of them you don't even know their names anymore, you know, so you begin to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, everyone that has offended me, those that I don't even remember their name, Father, bless them, if there is anyone that has not known you, oh Lord, let salvation, the cross, your word says, you know, that no one can come to God, no one can come to you, unless your spirit draws, the Holy Spirit begin to locate those people, locate them for salvation, in the name of Jesus, I bring them to you today, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, because I know it's not your will for anyone to perish, but for us to come to repentance, Almighty God, everyone that has offended me, that I don't even remember their names anymore, I don't have their contact anywhere they are now, if they have not known you, Holy Spirit, go and locate them so that they will know you and begin to pray, pray, the heartfelt prayer of a, of, 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 of the person, you know, it's very, very powerful before God, he searches your heart, you know, when you mean the prayer, begin to pray, pray, if you want to cry, cry, you know, cry for them, so that the Holy Spirit 
will locate and your life will never be the same again. And when you leave, when you let offenses go, power will be released unto you to move mountains. Look at what the Bible says here. He said, For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, he will have whatsoever he say. You know, if you have offense in your heart, if you have unforgiveness in your heart, you cannot move mountains. Because when you pray, God is not going to answer you. If you have unforgiveness in your heart, remember God also will have unforgiveness to you. So if God is having unforgiveness to you, he's not going to answer you. So power will not be released unto you. My God, my God, my God. Ah, if offense will make me not to, not to, not to have the power of God to operate, I will do without offense. Offense, you are, you, you are, you, you. I have nothing to do with you in the name of Jesus. I prefer to receive the power of God. Look at what he said in verse 23. You know, he said when you say to this mountain, mountain, it means that nothing will be possible for you. When you pray for the sick, the sick will be healed. When you pray for demon possessed, demons will go out. When you pray for someone, it will be delivered. When you, when you ask, it will be given to you. You know, nothing will be impossible. No wonder the Bible says with God, all things are possible. So if you are living in unforgiveness, you can't work with God. You can still be praying. You can still be preaching the Bible. You can still be uh, singing in the choir. You can, you can be going to church regularly. You can be sowing all the seeds that you can sow. You can be a very good titer. You can be, you can be doing all that. If you have unforgiveness in your heart, you refuse to forgive someone, you know, God Almighty also will not forgive you. And if he did not forgive you, you can't move mountains. That is the reason why many Christians are weak today. Many Christians are weak today. Many preachers are weak today. Many uh, uh, people who, who, who are calling God, you know, Christians, many of them are weak because of this simple thing. So that is why our Papa preached today in the morning service. It was awesome. It was awesome. Everybody felt it. It was awesome. So that is the reason. I'm taking it also from the service, bringing it to you today, to your home. For those of you who are not uh, 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 in uh, Jesus Power Assembly, for those of you who are not um, even in the city where we are living right now, and for those of you who are not uh, in Belgium, for those of you all over the world, that's why I'm bringing it to you, for you to know it's a very simple message, but powerful. Your entire life lies on that, you know? Your entire destiny lies on that. If you live in unforgiveness, you know, the Spirit of God, will not locate you to give you power. Look, I say when you speak to the mountain, you know, how can you speak to the mountain when your heart is full of unforgiveness, you know? So if God has been giving you grace to do things before, to do the impossible before, you know, it's because of grace. No wonder he said I will have mercy on those that will have mercy on. Then shall we continue with seeing that grace may abound, you know? So that is the question. So if God has been having mercy on us, you know, doing all what he has been doing through us, you know, out of ignorance, since he revealed it, you cannot struggle with the Spirit of God. So it's the same way. The Spirit of God is using my mouth now to also reveal to you and to speak to you, to talk to you. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. And in verse 24, he said, Therefore I say, I say unto you, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you, when you pray, how can you pray with a contaminated heart? When you keep people in your heart, when you keep offense in your heart, your heart is contaminated. Your heart is contaminated. You know? Yeah, the Bible says when you pray, believe. Believe. And you will have whatsoever you see. But I'm here to tell you today, if you have offenses in your heart, you know, no matter the kind of prayer you are praying, you know, that's why you see some people when they believe today, tomorrow they don't believe. After, that's why you see some people after praying, they don't believe in that prayer. When they just leave that place of prayer, little thing happen, they will change their confession. Because that prayer is not solid. Because such person have a lot in his heart, you know. Keep people, keep, keep things in the heart. Unforgiveness, offenses, you know. Jesus said to him, he said offenses will come. He said offenses will come. So I urge you in the name of the Lord, everyone that has listened to this message, Unforgiveness is a sin. Please delete it from your heart. It doesn't matter what that person has done to you. It doesn't matter. We have read in the in the in the word. God said, you know, when you say to this mountain, move, it means that when you when you are living, you know, when the, the spirit of God is in you, 
when there is no unforgiveness, when there is no offenses in you, you forgive people, you know, who offended you, you delete offenses, you know, the Spirit of God will be heavy in you. Nothing will be possible for you. Nothing will be possible for you. Then you will stand the chance of you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Christ can only strengthen you when you when you don't have uh, when you don't have offenses in your heart. He can only strengthen you. He can only enter into you. He can only uh, be who He say He is to you when you are, are living uh, when your life, you know, is in His hands. When offense is out. So I'm here to tell you, brothers and sisters, all my uh, children in the Lord all over, you know, unforgiveness is a sin. Please, if you are holding grudge, unforgiveness against anyone, as you listen to my message, don't let, don't let the next hour meet it. Fall on your knees and begin to forgive. Fall on your knees and begin to forgive them. Fall on your knees and begin to forgive them. Because you are not doing them harm. You are not doing that person harm. You are doing yourself harm. You are doing yourself harm. One, you can't do, you can't pray effectively anymore. Two, God will not hear you even when you pray that little prayer. God will not hear you. Three, you cannot do the impossible. Here, the Bible says with God all things are possible. You know, you know, you cannot pray, you cannot do the impossible, you cannot, you cannot, you, you, you can't do a lot of things. Praise God, all because you are keeping someone in your heart. So I urge you today to delete and let go of every offenses so that the glory of God will be seen in your life. Just as the glory of God was heavy in our midst today in the same. It was this simple message also that our papa gave today. My husband, Pastor Eddie. After the message, everyone was touched. Everyone was touched. And everyone began to pray for those that offended them. And after that, you can't believe the anointing came down. Power came down. His glory came down. And everyone was hallelujah. So I bless you today in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I pray for you that I've listened to this message that the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God will put it in your heart so deeply to forgive and let go of offenses and unforgiveness in your heart so that you can receive your miracle, so that you can serve God well. Salvation will be real in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you all and I cover you all with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Shalom. Praise God. Bye. Our choir is always... <laughs>